Today we will be practicing one point perspective. You will need a piece of paper, a ruler or a straight edge and a pencil. And we're first gonna make our horizon line. We'll be making something like this. Nice clean horizon line with a vanishing point. We're gonna be drawing some shapes all angling to our vanishing point. Um, but first I'm gonna fold my paper in half. That way I know right where the middle is. Put a nice crease and I know it's straight. Take my ruler. Mark it. Okay, it's a nice looking horizon line. Okay, find a spot somewhat in the middle for your vanishing point. And now it's time to draw our shapes. I need to see a square about directly above our vanishing point. Make sure it's right. Pretty good. Then another square over here. And then one over here to the right. My ruler moved. Okay, and then below here, we're gonna draw triangles. So one directly below my vanishing point. to the left. And one over here on the right. Right. So, right now they're flat shapes. We need to transform them into three-dimensional shapes. I'm going to start with this first one here. You're going to look at the corners of your square, hold your ruler down to that vanishing point, line them up. Please draw lightly because you will be erasing these lines or some of these lines. Um, next corner to my vanishing point. And this corner to my vanishing point. So I kind of just know from looking at it that these are the lines that are gonna be visible, the corners that I can see. Um, you can test all four corners, but if you know when you start drawing that you're gonna draw through your shape, then I don't want you to do that one. So this one would be that back edge of my square or my cube, and I won't be seeing that one, so you don't have to do that one. We just worry about those other three corners. Okay. But right now this is a like long rectangle that's going on and on forever. I want to shorten it. So I'm going to look at my line right here, slide it over, make sure that it is parallel to this one. And then this bottom edge of my square, slide it down, line it up where you left off here, and bring it over. So the bottom this line and this line are parallel to each other. This line and this line are parallel to each other, so they match. Now I can darken up my cube here and get rid of these. These were extra. They helped me draw the shape, but I don't need them. They're just floating in the space. This is all I care about right here. Okay, on to the next one. Start at your corner, bring it down. Bring it down. You can try these other ones, but I know it's gonna go through my shape, so I don't need to worry about that one. And same thing with that one. Don't worry about it. So 
So we just have one bottom that we're going to see. And let's shorten it. I don't want it to go on and on forever. So this bottom edge and this bottom edge are parallel. Get rid of your receding line. And there you go. Next one. Okay. If I were to do this one, it would go through my shape. So I don't need to worry about that one. But I don't want something that's going on and on forever. Line this up. Slide it over, make sure these match, they're parallel. This one, bring it down, line it up right where this one left off. And now I've got another pair of parallel lines, this one and this one. On two triangles. Start with this first one on the left. Same thing as the squares. Start at your corners, line it up to your vanishing point. It has to be precise. Make sure you're going to that vanishing point. You can't just be kind of near it. It has to be exact. You can try this third corner, but I can see that it's going to go through my shape. So I don't want something that you can see through. Not for this activity anyway. So don't worry about that one. Now I'm going to shorten this. It's going on and on and on forever. Same thing, we need parallel lines. Make sure that this and this match, go in the same angle. And now you can get rid of your receding lines. This one. All right, going on and on forever. This one's actually not that straight. Let's straighten it. There you go. So I'm gonna copy this line. Right about there. There we go. Looks like a rooftop. This one I don't worry about because it would be through my shape. Slide this over. Make sure they match. And here's the shape I care about. So at this point, you are done. If you like to shade a side just for fun, you can. You don't have to. I like to do it just to make it even look more 3D, more real, um, but that is it. Have fun.